Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a update on my Healthy Hair Growth Challenge, Grow 4 Inches in 20 Weeks. If you guys are not familiar with what's going on, I started a Healthy Hair Challenge April the 1st of 2012, and it's supposed to end August the 19th of 2012. We are officially 14 weeks into my challenge, and I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on. Nothing major. I still wash my hair weekly, deep conditioning. Um, moisturizing and sealing my hair and things like that. Mostly I wear my hair in a bun, not because like it's a protective style, but like because it's so easy for me to maintain and like it's summertime, it's hot, um, it's just like hair in a bun. Right? Like sometimes I don't take it down to moisturize it or seal it. Um, I'll just spray like the Shea Moisture or Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. Like just like spray it like on my bun or whatever and around and like all throughout my hair just to make sure that like I'm still moisturizing my hair and keeping up with everything as far as like making my goal of bra strap length I'll flash a picture of where I was in March as far as me making my goal I don't think that I am going to make it because I have been losing a lot of hair like due to having like a lot of knots that I had to cut out of my hair like knots that were like this long like the knot would be at the top and then the strand would be like this long not the strand it'd be like seven eight ten strands like into like a knot and like I don't think that I'm going to make it but do you think that like I'm going to give up no just because I don't think that I'm going to make my goal doesn't mean that I'm just going to like sit myself in a corner and just like give up and cry and stuff no I'm going to keep going I'm going to keep taking care of my hair and making sure that it's healthy not focusing on length which is something that I mentioned that we should not do and I'm still getting a lot of messages saying that you know my hair isn't growing um I measure it daily I measure it weekly and it isn't growing I just want to say stop doing that to yourself like don't do that to yourself because you cannot watch hair grow do you think that I see my hair grow the way that it grew no, like it just happened like over time you can't rush length when you focus on length you forget to maintain your hair you forget to deep condition moisturize and seal take care of those ends trim dust cut whatever so pretty much I have been like keeping up with everything except for oiling my scalp only thing I do on wash days is like after my hair finished air drying like I'll spray the Eden Body Works peppermint and tea tree oil in my scalp and like massage it and and that's all that I put on my scalp in the summertime I really don't like to do too much to my hair because it's so hot like I don't want to keep oiling my scalp and doing too much sometimes less is better I've noticed that like with my hair less is better like me not manipulating my hair just pretty much just keeping it up in a bun and that's how I have retained length doesn't mean that it's going to help you or you know make your hair grow or help you retain length it's just what I've been doing and I'm quite proud of myself that you know I resist the temptations of straightening my hair because I am a person that likes to do whatever it is that I want to do with my hair. Like, it just doesn't matter. Like, if I want to flat iron my hair every two months, that's what I'm going to do. And, like, the simple fact that this challenge is keeping me in check, like, in line, it's, like, amazing to me because I like to do whatever I want to do with my hair when I want to do it. And I know you guys can agree, some of you guys can agree with that that we just want to do whatever we want to do with our hair like I don't want to be held to any restrictions and things like that but for the simple fact that these challenges have been helping me throughout my healthy hair journey like just joining healthy hair growth challenges on Hair Lisa Kiss has helped me grow out my hair helped me maintain my hair helped me retain length so you know I can't knock challenges last year I straightened my hair about eight to nine times I straightened it January February March April May June July August I skipped September I flat ironed it October and I skipped November and December and I skipped January and February which means I flat ironed March of 2012 so far this year I only flat ironed my hair one time and I only plan on flat ironing my hair about four times this year just because I like to switch it up sometimes I like to wear my hair straight Sometimes I like to wear it curly. Sometimes I like to wear it up in the bun. Up in the curly updo. Like just the 
switch it up to do something different. That's one of the reasons why I used to wear weaves all the time because I like to switch it up just to do something different with my hair. I am going to be wearing my hair straight during the winter time and like wearing it curly during the summer because it's no point in me straightening my hair in the summer because it's so hot that it's just going to revert to being curly again like so it's like not even a point of flat ironing my hair. I am going to flat iron my hair in six weeks you guys to see if I made my goal but if I didn't like like I said I'm not going to cry about it like it's my hair is going to grow because I'm taking care of it and I'm just looking forward to doing this cut I just want to cut off at least an inch to two inches of my hair because I know that it's going to make my hair look better. My hair is going to be healthier and the fact that I'm going to retain more length and detangling is going to be so much easier. Like I'm not going to have any split ends. I'm not going to have too many knots or whatever. It's going to be much easier for me to detangle because every time I trim my hair or cut my hair, it's that much more easier and plus it's going to put me that much more closer to becoming natural. So I'm like so excited about this cut that's coming up in six weeks that, you know I just want to like straighten my hair right now and just get it over and cut it I'm just being patient and waiting for my challenge to end and I just want to thank all of you guys who joined who entered into my challenge in hopes of having healthier hair it really means a lot to me that a lot of you have been so supportive on my healthy hair journey I have been on my healthy hair journey for what 21 months now 21 months of taking care of my hair and like never giving up and just continuing to progress over those 21 months it has taken me a long time to see length because I do cut my hair because I'm transitioning and I do cut because I'm trying to become natural but doing it at my own pace at my own rate in March this was my hair right here this is how my hair looked in March so I'm just kind of like anxious to see where it is in August to see how much healthier it is, how much longer it is. Um, I do know that I gained some length, but I don't think I'm bra strap length. I get sad about cutting my hair. You know, I feel sad like I'm losing progress, all my hard work. But at the end of the day, my hair is becoming more healthier. So, you know, it's a positive thing and it makes me feel good that my hair looks that much more healthier. And I just want to continue to inspire people to take better care of their hair and know that just because you might not be having a good time during your healthy hair journey or your transition doesn't mean that later on down the line you, you're not going to see any progress because it does take time. Your hair is not going to grow overnight. It, nobody here grows overnight. It takes some time, you guys. A lot of cutting, a lot of deep conditioning, a lot of washing, a lot of moisturizing and sealing to get where you want to be. And, you know, I didn't get to where I am by just giving up and quitting. I just, like, keep going. Like, when I feel like I'm down in my transition or my healthy hair journey, I just watch some YouTube videos, really. And it really is therapeutic. It really is helpful. Like, when I feel down about my hair and stuff like that, what I do is I turn on a YouTube video and I watch some YouTube hair videos. And I just look at the natural hair divas. I look at their hair and where they are and how they got to where they are and it really inspires me to keep going and it inspires me to keep sharing my progress with you all. I just wanted to come to you quickly to update you guys on my healthy hair growth challenge. It's almost over in six weeks and I want to thank again all of you for joining and entering into this challenge and I look forward to hearing you guys' results and hopefully you achieve the results that you wanted to achieve during this challenge. I am going to be updating you guys again at the beginning of August um, since the challenge is over in six more weeks just to let you guys know how I'm going to prepare my hair for straightening and you know just to let you guys know how everything is going because I wanted to keep you guys updated during this challenge and I wanted to hear you guys' results and wanted to see how you guys are doing so just make sure you guys leave me comments below. Let me know how you are doing in this healthy hair challenge. If you got to do a video response, I love looking at video responses. I love reading the comments. You guys don't understand like how supporting it is, how inspiring, how motivating it is to me and to others to see these video responses and read these comments. So it's just a wonderful thing. 14 weeks in, it's moving along really fast. Like I can't believe how fast 14 weeks this blew by. I just want to say keep going, keep your head up, things will get better, I promise you, things will get better. Trust me, things are going to get better. It's not always going to be bad times, it's not going to always be good times, but 
the important thing is that we're all in this together. We're all here to help one another, and there's so much information out there. So, you guys, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to try to do my best to answer all the questions. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!